ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen and ladies. Ladies and gents. I do apologize that you guys have been having some feedback with the rubble reverb when I'm playing stuck in the background. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. What we have to do is we have to turn that volume down. And that's Lisa Lisa and Hulk Jenny. And we're singing a song called Face in the Crowd. And I'm going to turn them down for a moment because we have to test something out. Okay? We're going to test something out. Watch this. We're going to refresh our chat GPT-4. And we're going to ask chat GPT-4 a, a question. I have a, I have a consult in a couple of minutes, so I cannot stay on. Wake up. I have a question. Comma. Can you tell me, before the colony at Virginia sent its delegates to the convention at Philadelphia to place their decision on which of the amendments they were voting for, comma, where were the town halls held for these discussions in Virginia? Question mark. Town halls Stop listening. And then I'm going to listen to it before I put it up. Just to make sure. Before the delegates to the Constitutional Convention in Philadelphia convened to draft what would become the U.S. Constitution and subsequently debate the amendments that would form the Bill of Rights, town hall meetings and other forms of public and private discussions about the direction of the new nation took place in various locations across the colonies, which were transitioning into states. Shut up. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is how we know that the so-called founding so-called fathers did not found anything. Okay, before the delegates took the opinion of the people to Philadelphia, before they took it there, they had town hall meetings. These meetings were held so that the people could voice their opinion and say, hey, this is what we want. And these meetings went on several months. Why? Because they had to bring together what the other colonies were suggesting, what the other colonies had voted. So they had to discuss, okay, we, well, no, 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 we don't want that one, but we, we're going to choose this one. Okay, and then they settled on 10 of 13. It wasn't no founding fathers. This was the people. Town hall meetings and similar gatherings in the period leading up to and following the American Revolution were crucial for political, political and social discourse. They were held in a variety of places, okay? But you don't hear nothing about that, do you? Nobody ever told you about that. They only tell you about some stupid founding fathers. There were no founding fathers, people. There were no founding fathers. You talk about 12 stupid men, please. The colonies, pay attention, the colonies sent their delegates and their delegates could only tell the other members, what the colonies had decided. But what they did is they threw a curveball. What curveball do you say? The curveball they drew was the original amendments were called articles. So they decided to change them to amendments and then introduce articles on top of the amendments. Pay attention. The people never, ever consented to the articles. They only consented to the amendments, the Bill of Rights. Now, because the Articles did not infringe upon the people's rights, Congress shall make no law, pay attention, then the Articles were accepted. However, the junk that they introduced in 1933, 470-plus laws that infringed upon the lives of American citizens in a whole host of areas, that was unconstitutional. We'll keep you updated. Have a good day, everybody. Got to go listen, and then I'm going to put this up. Gotta go, gotta consult, gotta do goodbye.